Hello my friend, happy to see you here and in this video we are going to solve this really interesting cube equation. We have m cube plus m square equal to 810. But what about our m? How can we solve this really interesting equation? In this video I'm going to show you a really interesting approach. This is a new approach, maybe a lot of students don't know about it. And I'm going to show you this here in just 30 seconds. So first of all, a lot of students try to factor, try to think a little bit about this m cube, m square. They try to think about on the left hand side. But what about our right hand side? We have 800 810 and I'm going to start with this 810. So take a look, 810. Now what can you tell about this number? We can easily write it as a product because we know that 80, 810 equal to 81, 81 times 81 times 10. Okay, we all know that about this 10, 10 equal to 2 times 5, so let's write it. And moreover, we know that 81 equal to 3 to the 4th power, yeah? So we have 3 times 3 times 3 and times 3 and this 10, as I told before, equal to 2 times 5, okay? So this is our 81 right here, this is our 81 and this is our, our 10 right here. What are we going to do next? This 81 can be written not as, as a product 3 times 3 times 3, let's write it as a power, so 3 to the 4th power and times 2 times 5 equal to 10. I just write it in this way, I want, I'm going to show you why I write it. Because right now I see that 3 times 3 equal to 9 and we need this 9 in, in the end of the video right here, yeah? So this 3 to the 4th power can be written as 3 to the 2nd power squared, yeah? Really important moment right here, and times times 10. And in another way, these two and these two can be multiplied, or I, do, I don't want to multiply it, 3 square equal to 9. So 9 square equal to times times 10, okay? And in another way, we can easily write this 10 as 9 plus 1, so 9 square, and in parentheses 9 plus 1. So this is our first step right here. I just want to express this 810 in this way. And right now I'm going to show you why I do this, because 8, 8 square times 9 plus 1, so 9 square times 9 plus 1 equal to 9 cube plus 9 square. If you multiply it, so this one and this one will multiply, and this one and this one. And this is really important expression for us, yeah? This is really important expression for us, and let's use this expression right here in our solution. Take a look, we have m cube, so I write this expression m cube plus m square as in the beginning, and equal to not 810, but let's write it as 9 cube plus 9 square. And if you look at it closely, we can easily see one obvious solution right here, but I want to solve it completely, so, uh, completely all, all solution with a complex number, so I don't want to solve it completely, yeah? So we have m cube plus m square, and let's bring this from the right hand side to the left hand side, minus 9 cube and minus 9 square equal to 0. Right now, as you can see, we have a third power and we have a second power. And let's group these elements, third power and the second power. So we have m cube minus 9 cube and plus m square minus 9 square. Okay, m square minus 9 square equal to equal to 0. Right now, difference of cubes right here, and I'm going to write this formula right now. So we have like a cube minus b cube equal to, so we have like a minus b, and in second parentheses, a square plus b square and plus a b. This is our cube formula, we need to know about it. And our square formula, difference of square, I don't want to write it because this is a minus b, a plus b, yeah? So let's try to apply this formula right here. So we have like m minus 9, m minus 9, and in parentheses, the second parentheses, this one expression. So we have m square plus 9 square and plus 9m, 9m. This is our cube formula and right here plus our identity formula, m minus 9 and times m plus 9. Okay, equal to equal to zero. Okay, m minus nine and m minus nine we can easily factor from here, so it's really great. So m minus nine we factor in, and in the second parentheses we have like m square, so this parentheses plus nine square plus nine m and plus m plus nine. Okay, equal to zero, and we finally factor it. I know a lot of students solve it in their own way, but I want to show you this really interesting approach with the, with the expression of this constant on the right-hand side. Okay, let's solve this. We have m minus 9 equal to zero. This is our first equation on the left-hand side, and we have our this equation. So we have m square plus 
9 squared, so 81, and right here 9m plus m plus 10m, and plus 9 equal to 0, or we can rewrite it in another way, so we have m squared plus 10m, and plus 81 plus 9 equal to 90. Yeah, equal to zero. Let's solve first one, this one on the on the right hand side. So let's find discriminant right here real quick. So we have like b square minus 4ac, so 100 minus 4 times 1 times 90, okay? Which is equal to minus 260, which is less than zero. So we can easily say that on the right hand side, we have two complex complex roots right here. And if you're interested in complex roots, you can easily solve it easily and without any problems on the on the right hand side. We can easily we can easily solve it. Factor this this expression like 45, like no 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 like 45, like 26 times 10, and step by step you simplify it. On the left hand side, m minus 9 equal to 0 and m equal to 9. This is our solution in, in real numbers. Let's check it real quick. So we have 9 cube plus 9 square equal to 810, which is absolutely correct. As I told before, when we factor in this question right here, right here, so we have 9 cubed plus 9 square equal to 810. And in our expression right here, we change this by 9 cube and 9 square. And we can easily see that m cube equal to 9 cube and m square equal to 9 square. This is maybe obvious solution, but in algebra, we need to solve it completely and without like any suggestion because we, we see it when we cannot solve the question in one or two lines. This is a completely complete solution, a full solution to this full solution to this question. And in algebra, you don't need like to solve it in one or two lines. It's bad solution. Like it's not a solution when you write an expression and you tell, okay, m equal to nine is a solution and one in two lines. This is really bad solution. And it's not about mass. It's about like our IQ question. It's about our suggestion. Yeah, it's, it's not good. So try to solve it. Try to think a little bit about mass. Try to Try to try to solve it in your own way. Try to find solution. Try to find really interesting combination. How can we solve it? Because it's really important when you do it in your own way. It's it's not like in a book. You try to solve it in your own way. As right here, really interesting, really interesting trick with this with this constant. This is my solution to this problem. I know maybe someone don't like this solution because maybe they know about another solution. And of course, write your solution into a comment section. It will be really interesting. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure. Thank you for your time and have a great day. If you want to support me, you can leave a like below the video and you can easily watch my content. I have a lot of videos, a lot of higher mathematic videos, a lot of Olympiad algebra problem, which is really great. And I hope you enhance your, your algebra skills and your, your math knowledge. Thank you for your time and have a great day.